Hello, I am Manoj Praveen. I am a teacher educator, which means I work in a teacher's training college. And the students who come to our college, they take training in how to teach. They are the prospective teachers of India. In the entire process of the teacher education curriculum, the B.Ed. students, they will have to undergo a practice teaching session for two months. In this session, the teacher educator goes to the school, observes their teaching and gives some feedback. Yes, this is the background. But the feedback which the teacher gives to the student teacher is quite often ambiguous. Sometimes they say your class was very good, but uh, it could have been much more better. The student teacher does not know what the teacher educator has in mind. So the expected standards becomes very vague. So what I did, I made a rubric, a rubric to bring in transparency and accountability into the evaluation. A rubric is a format which has three things. One is the criteria that describe the product, criterion A, criterion B, criterion C, like that. And on the upper side, you have a rating scale, above expectation, meets expectation, below expectation. And then you have metrics, cells, and all the cells will be having descriptors or indicators. To be very clear, let me just tell an example in a sentence. Suppose we are making cake. A cake, to be a good one, should have some criteria, like it should have good flavor, it should have good deliciousness, you should have ingredients like fruits mixed into it. So, Suppose let us take the criteria of ingredients. So above expectation means you have a rich variety of fruits in, into it. Meets expectation means you have some normal fruit varieties only in, inside it. And below expectation means you, you don't have, you don't have enough fruits in, inside. So that is the thing. Now in the present study, a rubric for science teaching was constructed with major components of constructivism as criteria. Because in our state, we follow constructivism, that is, that is the walk. Now this rubric was used to evaluate and provide feedback to student teachers during their teaching practice sessions. Now these are the main characteristics of my rubric. 20 criteria of constructivism. Where did I evolve these 20 criteria of constructivism? I searched for the related literature of constructivist theories. I discussed with my peers. I discussed with experts. So I funneled, I shortened it into 20 criteria of constructivism. Then I have the rating scale, the four point rating scale, which rates a student teacher from expert, proficient, needs improvement, does not meet standards and 20 into 4, 80 cells, each cell having a descriptor. So from this big picture, a student will be able to understand where he is now and where he has to come up to. This is the rubric which I have created. There you can see 1 to 5 criteria and it continues up to 20. Those criteria I have listed in the left hand side. Then you have the rating scale, expert, proficient, needs improvement, and does not meet standards. And every cell has a descriptor. Actually, this two page thing is what you see over there. If you can just glance through the first row, the first row reads interesting. So a constructivist class should be interesting at the stage of introduction. The first cell reads that the interesting introduction should be by creating puzzling situation, considering the previous knowledge of students and which justifies the content portion. 
and if you jump over to the last cell which says does not meet standards there you have the descriptor dull introduction with arrogant questioning or lifeless explanation this is the kind of rubric which i have used okay i have come up with a new thing but is it effective that has to be researched out that has to be found out so a questionnaire was designed it contained 10 questions which asked about the robustness of the tool which asked about the uh, effic eff efficiency of the tool i administered it to 38 student teachers of my college who uh, 32 females and 6 males in fact in our college we have uh, a postgraduate department also but i administered it to uh, the graduate beard students i will just show some three or four interesting responses to some three or four interesting questions only in fact the entire thing i have got in my report the first question which seems to be interesting is that i think that evaluation using a rubric will reduce subjectivity and personal bias here you can see the strongly agreeing and agreeing people put together it comes to 60 percent which means 60 percent student teachers feels that the new tool the rubric increases unbiasedness see another question i will practice the idea of rubric for evaluation when i become a teacher an overwhelmingly good number of students say that about 90 percent student teachers feel that they will practice the idea of rubric a much more interesting one i was able to understand my level of performance easily from the rubric again uh, near to 90 percent says that the rubric was a good tool and they could understand where their position was well i went for a double check i told you that we have a postgraduate department also in our college we have we had 12 postgraduate students doing emed in our college i gave the very same questionnaire to them i said you go and evaluate student teachers using this rubric which i have made they went there uh, evaluated the students and came back now we'll see a, a quick glance of what their responses were about uh, using this rubric to evaluate even though there, are, there were only 12 students you can see that an, an overwhelmingly good number of students say that it reduces subjectivity in evaluation it helps to understand level of performance easily and they say that they will practice the idea of rubric it says that it help it is helpful to refine one's own teaching 100 percent says that rubric has taken care of all aspects of constructivist teaching rubric tells exactly what a student needs to to do it's it's a, it's a very good response from the postgraduate students so that's the conclusion the conclusion is that the effectiveness of the rubric was well recognized by student teachers as well as by the evaluators as indicated by the study the rubric brings in transparency and accountability into the evaluation scheme one more short interesting thing some skeptics may say so what in fact a lot I put this idea in the staff meeting of our college. My principal was impressed. He decided that every department should make their own rubrics. Now every teacher of every subject in every department of our college has made a rubric. They have posted it on the college website. Not only that, we practice it. We make our student teachers familiarize this rubric even before the teaching practice session and we evaluate them using the rubric during the teaching practice session one more thing other colleges other colleges have started either following our rubrics from the website we have with our college or they have started developing their own their own one so thank you that is what I have to share with you, this innovative tool of rubric. Uh, one more thing, one more thing I left out is that our principal, he was the 
board of studies chairman and as well as the dean of the faculty of education he decided that when there is the next curriculum change there should be a strand incorporated into the MED syllabus the postgraduate syllabus where uh, the our postgraduate student teachers should develop a rubric by themselves uh, to evaluate uh, student teachers that's all thank you